In this demo, we will be demonstrating utilizing the REST API as the backend to supply data to render in a web page. This web page is a user management console, which will make REST API calls on demand to provide the required information. Let's quickly take a look at this page with the Chrome Developer Tools Network tab open to review the API calls being made while we navigate. Later, we will jump into the code to see how these endpoints are being called. When the page loads, we are establishing a new REST API session as seen from this login call here. We're also creating a call to get all the users. Let's go ahead and open this and we can take a look at the headers. Here we can see the request URL being made is API users as a get request with a status code of 200, meaning it was successful. If we come down to the request headers, we can see the XMSTR auth token is being provided. If we preview the data returned, we can see this is a list of information on all of our users. This is what's being rendered in the page. Let's make another call by adding a new user to the page and filling out a form with all the required information. When we submit this, we'll see that another call was being made to create the user, and then the list was re-rendered. Here we can see the preview of the information returned when we submitted this request. As we can see, this was a post request returning a 201 as a success. We take a look here and see that our user was added to the list just as we want. Let's go ahead and inspect some information on a user. We'll go ahead and click a user and we can notice that it's returning some information about this user. In the network tab, we can see that we're requesting specific information on this user for the given user ID and returning all the information about that user. In this case, we're only returning membership information for the groups they belong to. Here, we can make an update request to remove some information from the user. Let's go ahead and remove the manager group from this user. When we hit continue, we'll see that another request was being made, this time as a patch request for this user and this user group. When we preview the information, we'll see that this was removed and the list is reloaded with that group being gone. Finally, we'll take a look at some delete call by going into the new user we just created and selecting the delete button and continue. When we do so, we'll see a new call being made for that user with its given user ID with the request method of delete and a status code of 204 meaning success. And when we take a look at our list, the user's gone. This was just a quick demo to demonstrate a variety of request methods being made in a browser by utilizing our REST API as the backend to load and render all the information. In a moment, we'll take a look at the code that is used in the backend to make these REST API calls.